In this video, we're going to see how to create a 3D model, a scale model, of the famous monument, the fortress and temple of the Ziggurat of Ur from the ancient Sumerian civilization. And to do that, we need to make sure that we have some measurements first. We can't just open SketchUp and start drawing this or uh, building this. We need to make sure we have actual dimensions so we can create a, a realistic scale model of it. And fortunately, there was uh, an archaeologist named Sir Leonard Woolley who did go and study this ziggurat location, uh, this archaeological site, in the 1920s. And from that, we have some information about the size and the scope and how it was built, even though it was in ruins at that time. So we've uh, located some two-dimensional drawings here based on the information we have from these uh, archaeological findings of the ziggurat site. And we need to make sure that we've found many different dimensions in order to create these in SketchUp. We're going to be creating three different tiers plus the temple on top, and it's going to look somewhat like this at the end. So we have multiple views, including this sort of isometric bird's eye view, as well as side elevation, a front elevation view, and a top or aerial view or floor plan. And the reason we need these is because we need to create this in th all three dimensions in SketchUp. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you find a scale for each of these drawings so that you can locate the other dimensions. Now we know from the archaeological findings and from online information that the base was 150 feet by 210 feet. So we've used that to now calculate other distances in these drawings, in these technical drawings of it that people have made. So if we know that the base was 150 feet, we can use that information to find out how much one centimeter represents in this drawing. All you have to do is take a ruler and measure that 150 feet across your screen divide by the number of centimeters that it is, and that tells you how many feet per centimeter as our scale. Then once we know the number of feet per centimeter, we can measure the centimeters of each of these other dimensions that we need and multiply by that scale number, whatever you found, to find the final result. Now keep in mind, this is going to be different depending on which screen you use, how big the picture is when you measure it. So you need to make sure this picture stays the same size and that you're always working on the same screen if you're going to do it this way while you're using a ruler to measure the measurements and find the other distances. So we need to make sure that we have at least the base tier found before we can start making a SketchUp model. We're going to start with this one large tier at the base. There's also a second tier, a third tier, a temple on top, a gateway with steps leading up to it, and another uh, compartment building out in the front. So we're going to make each of those things as a separate component of our model, and then we're going to combine them together.